and welcome to Martha's Vineyard 2019. It's been a long time since I've been to Martha's Vineyard, uh, probably not since the 1990s. But Linda and I decided to spend our anniversary this year on Martha's Vineyard. So in late May, we went over to Martha's Vineyard. Now, it was before Memorial Day, so a lot of the uh, uh, places to go to are not really open to the public yet before Memorial Day, including the lighthouses. We were able to see the lighthouses, but we were not able to go into them. I was also hoping to fly my Spark drone around some of the lighthouses on the island, but I found that, uh, well, one of the lighthouses had a sign that said, no drone, so I could not fly there. And then the other lighthouses, when we got to them, it was really very windy and uh, cloudy, so it wasn't the ideal conditions for flying. So oh, I just didn't get to do it this time, maybe next time. Hopefully we'll go back to Martha's Vineyard in the summertime when it's really nice and maybe uh, get some good drone flying. But we were able to do a lot of um, activities in our uh, three days, we're just three days on the island. We have a lot of stuff to show you and I hope you find it interesting. Now this is the first time that we took our car with us on the ferry that goes over to Martha's Vineyard. And it is much easier to get around the island when you have your own car. We are in Woodsville, Massachusetts, on a ferry boat, about to head for Martha's Vineyard. Attention please, ladies and gentlemen. We will be arriving shortly in Vineyard Haven. All vehicle drivers and passengers, please make your way down to the vehicle deck at this time. As soon as we docked at Vineyard Haven, we headed to our first lighthouse. Okay, we're almost to the West Chop Lighthouse. Then it was off to check in at our very nice Airbnb in Tisbury called the Mermaid Suite. It was a single room with a bathroom in this little house. The knocker. 
on the mermaid suite. <laughs> we also had our own uh, deck and gas grill, but we never used it. Next, we wanted to visit another lighthouse, this one in Oak Bluffs. Now this would have been a good place to fly the drone. It was sunny and not, not very windy, but this is the, the uh, lighthouse that had the sign that said, no drones. Disappointed. While we were in Oak Bluffs, we rented bicycles, okay. and we intended to ride all the way to Edgartown and the lighthouse there. Here we are in Martha's Vineyard. Well, it really got uh, very windy and the ride was a little hillier than we're used to. So we didn't quite make it all the way to uh, the lighthouse, so we turned back. Are you trying to tell me something? I can't hear you. you Want to stop? And on the way back, we decided to stop at a rather famous bridge. That's the bridge from Jaws behind us, I believe. Yep, Amity Island. Amity Island. bridge to cross over. Uh, we are no cross now.
Later, we returned to the Lookout Tavern and had dinner there. Uh, panini sandwiches. And from that tavern, we had a great view of the Oak Bluffs Ferry. The next morning, we had breakfast at the Little House Cafe. We had a very nice scone breakfast. So then uh, we headed back to Oak Bluffs again, and uh, today I was hoping we could go to the merry-go-round, the famous merry-go-round there, the flying horses, and get some interesting video, slow motion and so forth, on the horses, but it wasn't Memorial Day yet, and of course the merry-go-round was not open yet. Now, uh, when we were riding our bikes uh, the day before, I had uh, Linda's windbreaker attached to the back of my bike, and uh, it got loose and got caught in the gears of the bike. I hate it when that happens. And seemed to be ruined. So while we were in Oak Bluffs, we decided to shop around for a uh, new windbreaker for Linda, and we found one at this store. All right, here we are, Martha's Vineyard. We're just in Oak Bluffs, and we're headed for Edgartown. We're gonna see the lighthouse in Edgartown. It was a little tricky navigating the one-way streets of Edgartown, and also quite a challenge to find a parking place. This too would have been a nice place to fly the Spark drone, but uh, it was very windy and I kind of chickened out. I probably should have tried it anyway. Okay, this is the Edgar Town Wharf. While we were in Edgar Town, we wanted to, at first, uh, take the Chappaquiddick Ferry. They call it the Chappy Ferry. But we decided to just uh, watch the boats in action. This is what I remember from the past. Coming up the stairs and, and observing. Thank you. The uh, Chappy Ferry. I believe that's what you can see from up here. Now there is a lighthouse on Chappaquiddick Island, it's called Cape Pogue Light, but I'm pretty sure there was no way we could get anywhere near it until after Memorial Day.
little more of our drive through Edgartown. Then we uh, drove all the way to the other end of the island uh, to see the uh, Gay Head Lighthouse. And while we were there, we had dinner at the Akina restaurant, which is very near the lighthouse. It seems to be a kind of Native American place. And behind the restaurant was a great viewing place to see the clay cliffs that are in that area. The next morning, we went back to the Little House Cafe. Unfortunately, we were a little late. And by the time we got there, the scones were all gone. So we had to settle for just a kind of a traditional breakfast. And then we made one final trip to Oak Bluffs. We wanted to see the gingerbread houses. The famous Victorian cottages or gingerbread houses. This is a well-preserved collection of Methodist camp meeting houses. It started in 1835 with tents. In the 1860s and 1870s, the tents were replaced with small cottages. This area became officially known as Cottage City in 1880. In 1907, the name was changed to Oak Bluffs. Well, while we were in Oak Bluffs, we did some window shopping on Circuit Avenue. spotted another windbreaker there, but it wasn't as good as the one that we'd already bought the, the previous day. We had a little time before our ferry took off, so we thought we'd head for the beach. Linda made very good use of her new black windbreaker.
it was a good opportunity for me to shoot some slow motion video with my GoPro Hero 7 Black. When we drove onto the ferry, we were surprised that it was a much smaller boat than the one we had before, and all the cars were just left out on the open. wanted to get a good view of the crossing, but again, it was very, very windy. This was our anniversary date, so in Falmouth we stopped at Seafood Sam's and had a nice dinner. Well that does it for this video. We hope to go back to Martha's Vineyard when there's real summer weather, although when it's really nice the place will probably be crowded, but we do hear that September is a good time to go. Uh, the, still, the water's still pretty warm and not that many people. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm sure we'll have many more adventures this summer. So we'll see you next time.